ChemStore Engineering was tasked with improving the storage of titanium alloy powder at the Zimmer Biomech Medical Manufacturing Facility in Bridgend, Wales. Titanium alloy powder is flammable and potentially spontaneously combustible, and its correct storage is imperative. The store is split into two sections. A loading area for pallets of titanium alloy powder can be accessed from the front by forklift. Meanwhile, a control room housing temperature control and fire suppression systems can be accessed via a door on the side. Only ever load secure pallets into the fire vault. Open the main loading door. Line up the forklift with the location required. Lower the first pallet onto the live racking system, making sure to load past the spring. Using the second pallet, slowly push back the previously located pallet. Once located, lower the forks into a horizontal position and reverse. To remove pallets, simply reverse the process using the front pallet to break the rear. Situated inside the control room is the main HVAC and LED control panel. Humidity level. Temperature level. To adjust the humidity level, press back, then up or down, then back to set. To adjust the temperature level, follow the same process on the left hand side. The fire suppression control panel controls and monitors the components of the fire suppression system. It manages the fire detection and manually operated devices. The control panel also allows the user to control how the system behaves so that it can automatically extinguish a fire or allow the user to manage the fire occurrence. The fire suppression system will only discharge the fire suppression gas if two zones are activated. The system will only release the gas at a preset time of 60 seconds from the second zone activation. The control panel also allows the user to manually release the gas from controlled panel fascia. There are two air sampling smoke detectors connected to the fire suppression system. VESDA 1 is connected to zone 1 and VESDA 2 is connected to zone 2. This device is an air sampling system which monitors the air quality of the room and will report any fire condition to the main suppression panel. This detector will report four types of alarms. Alert, Action, Fire 1, and Fire 2. This device is only operational if the system is about to release the gas. By pressing this button, the time of the gas suppression system's countdown, 60 seconds, is reset to zero. 
This can be reset as many times as required. This will not reset the fire suppression discharge sequence. It only functions as a delay device. This is mounted externally underneath traffic lights and also internally within the service room. This is an electronic sounder and flashing beacon to signal that the fire suppression system is about to discharge the fire suppressant gas. Normally the system will discharge the gas 60 seconds from the second activation while the system is in the automatic mode or if a manual release point is activated. This is mounted externally and is also repeated by means of a loud buzzer and panel LED on the main control panel. Green. Everything's safe and running. Good to use. Amber. System purging. Wait to use. Red. Emergency fire state. Do not approach. Bell sounding. Emergency fire state. Do not approach. No bulbs. Error. No power. Bulb failure. Do not approach. Note, there is a lamp test facility located in the control panel within the plant room. Golden rules. 